Time now for everybody's favorite guessing game. What's my line? Remington Rand, makers of the Remington, the world's number one electric shaver, present What's My Line? <laughs> now, let's meet our award-winning What's My Line panel. First, the popular columnist who is featured in an article in the new issue of Look Magazine, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Is a young humorist who is profiled as an intellectual night owl in the current <laughs> issue of Cosmopolitan magazine, Mr. Steve Allen. Thank you, sir. On my left, one of the lovely ladies of radio and television who is seen in her own program every afternoon on another network, is Arlene Francis. Thank you, Steve. And on my left, the mastermind of Random House. A gentleman who writes a sparkling column every Sunday for This Week magazine, Mr. Bennett Cerf. On, on my left is a gentleman who is a wizard at interpreting the news for TV and radio, and also a wizard at misinterpreting contestants' answers for this panel. <laughs> I refer, of course, to Mr. John Charles Dayton. Innocent as charged, Bennett. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line. As is our custom on Sunday evening, we've invited some nice folks to come and visit us. They've brought with them some very interesting occupations, which we trust the panel will have a lot of trouble identifying. Uh, later on, we'll have a famous guest challenger before the panel. But now I think it's time for our experts to meet our first challenger, whose job has to be spotted. So would you sign in, please, ma'am? Jean... Desmond rides the gate. <laughs> Miss or Mrs.? Miss. Miss Desmond? That's Where right. are you from? Hewlett, Long Island. Hewlett, Long Island. Well, that's right close to home, isn't it? That's right. Well, you better go see some neighbors because they want to see you. Would you go meet the panel, please? Uh, hi. Uh, All right, Miss Desmond, if you'll come over here now, please, and sit down next to me. At this point, the panel, having had a chance to meet you, as I think you probably know, gets a free guess as to what your line may be. We always begin the free guesses with Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. I think she teaches kindergarten. <laughs> Mr. Allen. Judging by the very pretty material of which her hat is made, I think she designs men's neckties. <laughs> Miss Francis. <laughs> I think she's a landscape gardener. Mr. Sir. I think she plays poker and lets the chips hewlett where they may. <laughs> No, I'm afraid not. Let our viewers have a further look at Miss Jean Desmond. At the same time, we'll tell them what her line is, but the panel's going to have to guess. And Miss Desmond is one who lives in the immediate vicinity. We can assume you've seen the program before, and you know how we score. Every oh, no man. answer, we flip the card, okay? Yeah. All right, Miss Desmond is salaried. With that, let's begin the general questioning with, uh, Bennett Sir. <laughs> Well, Miss Desmond of Hewlett, uh, is there a product involved in what you do? Yes. Is it a widely used product? Yes. Is it a product that one or more of which might be found in the ordinary pleasant American home? Oh, yes. Might one or more of these products be found in my own home? Yes. Would it be a product that might be uh, useful Around mealtime? <laughs> I'd say no. Well, now, Emma, we've got to have a small conference here. I knew there was going to be some conference with Miss Desmond. <laughs> <laughs> uh, time. <laughs> we don't want to mislead you. Actually, to the degree that the product is useful, we must assume that um, any specific time of the day is not necessarily germane. Uh, in the application of its use. It could be used around mealtime. Well, we could say if it's used at all, why it would be useful at mealtime, bedtime, morning, you know what I mean. So. Well, judging by that answer, may I assume that this product is not edible? Uh, you're right, it's not. It's not edible? No. Well, might it be found on, on the table around no. mealtime? Not on the table. One down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. 
Well, is it something besides merely useful? Is what it, uh, would you have in mind? Well, amusing or stimulating or decorative or fun. <laughs> I think, Dorothy, you may want to quibble with the answer afterwards, but I don't believe that as you ask the question, it is amusing, you know, et cetera, and so forth. So we'll give you no answer. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Allen. It's basically useful. It's been established that this is not edible. Is it there by any chance, uh, is this something rather by any chance that could have something else put into it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Might what is put into it be cold? <laughs> You'd have to give me a temperature. <laughs> you have to oh, qualify yeah? that a little. <laughs> I've got a whole new approach to this thing here. Uh, is this by any chance an article of wearing apparel? The product? Make it easy on yourself. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Uh, would it be any more normal to wear it during cold weather than uh, warm weather? No. No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. Is this worn by women? Yes. Is it ever worn by men? Yes. Does it, uh, may I assume that when you do wear it, it should not show? Yes. Uh, would it be in the lingerie field? I mean, uh, would it be something that you might buy in a lingerie shop? Yes. Uh, does it stretch any, in any direction? Yes. <laughs> Would it be part of the Girdle family? Yes. <laughs> you have something to do with Girdles? Yes. That's right. You've identified the product now. What exactly does Miss Desmond have to do with Girdles? Uh, do you design them? No. Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Well, I'd like to state right here and now that I don't think Mr. Miss Desmond has to wear one. <laughs> 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 but uh, do you, by any chance, uh, sell? No. Five down and five to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do you fit or inspect them? No. Six down and four to go, Mr. Allen. Uh, do you design them? No. Seven down and three to go, Miss Francis. Uh, may I just ask what we've ruled out? She doesn't sell them, she doesn't design them. Pardon me, Miss Desmond, you don't sell them, you don't design them, you don't fit them, and you do not make them. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. That's correct. <laughs> she bottles them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. What he whispered in my ear was that you modeled them. No. no. <laughs> At eight down and two to go, Mr. Golly, Sir. we're, we're, we're closing on everything. Has, it, <laughs> have, has the work that you do with these got anything to do with the sale of them? No. Not advertising them? With no. Them. No. We make, no, we've said no. Nine down and one to go. You do what you do before they're put on sale? Yes. Do you put little holes in them for those strings? <laughs> <laughs> Ten dollars, no more to go. I must say, this is new to me. Miss Desmond tests them. She wears them to see how good they are before they're sold in the budget. Then they're all second hand when they get out of the <laughs> no, I, I don't wear the ones that are on the, the put on sale. I wear the samples. I work for the Biflex company. They try their girdles on me. I take them home and wear them and wash them. And I tell them what's wrong before the customers do. Well, the rest of them are the And you get the full prize for stuffing the panel so beautifully. Yeah. Thanks for being our guest in What's My Life. Thank you. If you can do with the second challenge, would you sign in, please, ma'am? Elizabeth J. Bank. Right. Elizabeth J. Bank. Right. Um, is that Miss? Mrs. Bancroft. And uh, where are you from? Mr. Northampton, Massachusetts. Northampton, Massachusetts. You have a slight touch of laryngitis, it sounds like. Oh, you've got a rough one, too. I'm sorry. Well, we'll try to keep your you down to an absolute minimum in conversation tonight. You just keep saying no and everything will be easy. But go over and say hello to the panel anyway, will you? Hello, Miss Bancroft. Hello. All right, now, Mrs. Bancroft, if you come over here and sit down next to me, we'll see what the panel can do with its free guesses to what your line may be. And we always begin the free guesses with Dorothy Kilgallen. <laughs> 
I think she makes cookies. Makes cookies, Mr. Allen. I have the same sort of a reaction. I think she runs a tea room. Miss Francis. I think she's a house mother at Smith College. Mr. Sir. Well, now, let's see. Cal Coolidge and Marion Dodd came to Northampton. You teach English at Smith. No, I'm afraid not. We'll let our viewers have a further look at Mrs. Bancroft. At the same time, we'll tell them what her line is. <laughs> The panel's got to guess, Mrs. Bancroft, and I think you know the rules. I'll take, I'll take care of flipping the cards. This cold weather has been playing Ned, hasn't it? Yes. <laughs> you get it as close as you can so that uh, we get the full benefit of the microphone. All right, Mrs. Bancroft is salaried. With that, we'll begin the general questioning with Dorothy Gilgallon. Do you work for a profit-making organization? Do you work for a profit-making organization? Yes. <laughs> Do you deal in services? Yes. Can both men and women enjoy your services? Yes. You look rather dubious. Is it because I use the word enjoy? You don't have to answer that. You don't want to. Uh, no, actually, I would say that uh, the answer, do men and women enjoy, would say yes. Uh, uh, do, do they come to you for your services? Yes. And... Uh, do they come, uh, oh, singly or in pairs rather than big masses? No. No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Allen. Is any special degree of skill required for the performance of your duties? Yes. <laughs> Very good. Ah, uh, let me see. Do you usually work inside? No. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute, we've got to have a small conference. The question Inside is... Inside what? How do you think she got this cold? <laughs> uh, the question is, do you usually work inside? Hmm? Uh, I think that since we have a term of reference, inside meaning in an enclosure, that we would say yes. Hmm. Uh, would I be able to do what you do? If I did, might I get a kick out of it? Undoubtedly. <laughs> this is presuming you have some training, I think. Hmm. I gathered by the use of the word enclosure that this takes place in some kind of an enclosure, but not actually indoors. Is that correct? Well, I wouldn't play with this area much if I were you. I would say it's in an enclosure, which in our terminology means under some kind of cover, yes. Hmm. Uh, do you work with any tools of any kind? Yes. Uh, you require some special training for your job? Yes. Hmm. Does it have anything to do with uh, animals, by any chance? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. They would use your voice in your job? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Well, Mrs. Bancroft, have you got anything to do with education of any kind, whatever? Thank you, no. <laughs> Four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, I'd like to get back to these masses of people who come to you. Uh, do they come to be entertained by any chance? Yes. And do you do some type of performance for these people? Yes. And this is what takes the special training. Yes. Uh, do you work uh, with anyone else or anything else? Yes. Is there anything uh, tricky or dangerous about your work? Definitely. <laughs> Is it more tricky than dangerous? No. It's dangerous, I think, as much as it is tricky, if not more so. Five down and five to go, Mr. Allen. Are you going to give you a chance? I'm, I'm going to make a large jump in logic here because I only have one idea, and I might as well get at it and find out if I'm right or wrong. Do you have anything possibly to do with the circus? Yes. In case that seems very intelligent, I guess, in Omaha, the circus is in New York right now. I just want to... <laughs> You have nothing to do with animals, but your work is dangerous. 
to sell popcorn. <laughs> 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 uh, do you do your work up off the ground? Is that where the danger lies, that you're up high someplace? That's two questions. Which one do you want? Just say no. <laughs> Don't fight with him. <laughs> Let's sit down and four to go. I'm going to give you a no for that. I'm going to give you just one more minute, Miss Francis. Well, first, I want to have this absolutely clear. You say you do not work with animals at all. Is that correct, Miss Bancroft? That's correct. Are there any, is there any uh, business of locomotion attached to your job in any way? No. That makes it seven down and three to go. One well, question, as a, as a, Are you part of a troop? Do you No. Not Boy Scout even, isn't that? Well, let's flip now, because I think on a basis of time, we will have to go by default there. And also, I don't think you're really getting close, because you see, Miss Bancroft's having trouble with the voice. She's a sword swallower. Mrs. Bancroft, you won the full prize, and that's just wonderful. And thanks for being our guest and for well, being from the Springling by the Circus and being in New York. <laughs> now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery guest. The panel has been blindfolded because they'd recognize our guest immediately. The blindfolds are all in place, panel. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? As you know, in the case of our mystery challenger, we get right down to the general questioning, which we will begin with Miss Arlene Francis. Well, all those oohs and ahs must mean that you're a shining light in the entertainment world. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it squeaks. <laughs> um, she also swallows swords. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you uh, part of the motion picture industry? Are you, uh, well, we have to find out. Are you a female? <laughs> well, that makes it nice. Female what? <laughs> female what? <laughs> Are you, uh, would you be considered a leading lady? Yes. Are you young, an ingenue leading lady? Yes. <laughs> Voice hasn't changed yet, even. <laughs> Are you, uh... Uh, are you here in New York, uh, on a vacation or, uh, uh, perhaps doing a special appearance for a picture that is about to open? Which one? <laughs> I had no idea which ones were going to open, but I wondered if that was why you were here. <laughs> no, which question is what is meant by that? Oh, are you here to, uh, make appearances for a picture that is about to open? <laughs> <laughs> An animal picture, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, the pictures that are opening this week are Prince Valiant. Is that right, Dorothy? That's opening That's right. uh, next Tuesday, uh, night. Tuesday, Tuesday night. Tuesday night, yes. Yes! And I didn't look at the invitation well enough to know. Tell you. All right, I'm going to pass to Bennett Surf. He knows about who's in it. Well, have you got a husband who also acts once in a while? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was me. That frightened her. <laughs> and uh, were you once in a picture that involved the exploits of Mr. Houdini? Yes. Well, we give him 20th Century Fox enough building. I think you're Janet Leigh. Yes. <laughs> Actually, uh, Lee, pardon me. It's Lee. I was about to lower the boom on you. We should That's have kept right, those masks. <laughs> well, I must say, I was going to ask you what brought you to New York, but I know you now. Know. You're here for Prince Valiant. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Well, it opens Tuesday night at the Roxy Theater, well, and I flew in this morning after attending the premiere in Hollywood Friday night, so I'm up, <laughs> way up in the premiere. It's very sure you exciting. Have. Well, I read the paper. How's your ankle? Oh, it's much better, thank you. I was going to try to be very brave and walk across there, but since you know, I'll live. Miss Janet <laughs> sprained her ankle coming in here from Hollywood, and I read it. Will you the carry her across, John? Thank you. Very May I? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to, but my wife's watching. <laughs> bye bye. In, please, ma'am. 
<laughs> you want a conference right now, John? Oh, boy. <laughs> Greta. Greta Morgan, is that right? Yes. How are you? <laughs> Won't somebody please say we make a nice-looking couple? <laughs> Where are you from, Miss Morgan? Vienna, Austria. Is it Miss? Yes. Miss Morgan from Vienna, Austria. Well, now, time is running a bit short, so we'll, if you don't mind, forego meeting the panel. You just come with me. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <clears throat> There you are, comfortable. Panel, you've had a chance to uh, see Miss Morgan, and on the basis of this very quick look, would you now take your free guesses, which we will begin with Miss Kilgallen. I think she makes cream puffs. Makes cream puffs, <laughs> Mr. Allen. I don't know what she does, but she can do it to me, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Francis. I think she plays a musical instrument. Mr. Sir. She's going to be one of the Gabor sisters. <laughs> <laughs> tell them what her line is. All right, now, Miss Morgan, since you came all the way from Vienna, you may not know what happens. Every time you give them a no answer, I flip a card and the panel loses $5. You all set now? Yes. All right, Miss Morgan is salaried. Let's begin the general questioning with Steve Allen. Do you work for a profit-making concern? Yes. We'll have to have a conference. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Steve. Really? Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> is there a product of any sort involved in what you do? Yes. Could it be used in the home? No. No. Now, in the instance here uh, indicated, the product itself is not used in the home, although in a similar area it might be used in the home. That's one down and nine to go, Miss Francis. What does that mean? What that that mean? certainly is double entendre, if ever I heard of <laughs> oh, it. Oh, wait. <laughs> it can be used in the home in some instances, but in this instance it's not used in the home. Is That's that what you right. said? Mm -hmm. Well. Yeah. <laughs> you have only two minutes to go. Is it, um, uh, is this product a useful one? Yes. Is it entertaining in any way? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. Miss Morgan, is the fact that you come from Vienna, uh, would that lead me to give us any help in the work that you do? No. None at all. Three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, this product that is used in the home or not used in the home, uh, is it solid? Yes. Uh, is it um, used in an enclosure rather than out of doors? when it is used. It doesn't have to be. No, well, we've got to have a conference. I'm <laughs> sorry. Is it ever? I don't care if it has to be. <coughs> Your two minutes are up. Oh, yes, yeah. that's right. No, four thousand six to go, Mr. Allen. Which one is not used outdoors? It's uh, not used indoors. Not no. entirely. I mean, what we I didn't mean say to indicate entirely. here I just is... meant ever. Oh. I didn't say entirely, John. Really? All right. <laughs> Take it back. <coughs> is it bigger than a bread box? <laughs> yes. Is it smaller than an automobile? No. That makes it four down and six to go. We've got time for about two questions. Steve Allen. Is it in any sense mechanical? Yes. It's evidently about the size of an automobile since you fought it for a moment in your answer. Uh... No. <laughs> Actually, our time is up. This is going to be very be tricky. I'm, I'm almost glad. <laughs> By default, you win the full prize, and I think the panel is going to be very interested to know that Miss Morgan manages a boiler factory, makes boilers for engines, <laughs> things like that. Boilers, sure. boilers, boilers. <laughs> and Miss Morgan, you have the full prize, and our thanks for being a very charming and at the same time difficult guest for the panel to check on. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, boys. Good night, Arlene. How's your boiler? <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Bennett, and have a lovely trip down to North Carolina where you're going to make speech. Thank you, dear. Good night, John. <laughs> well, good night, y'all, and thanks for being here with What's My Line. <laughs> Association with the CBS Television Network.